What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Auto 3 Garage. And if you're tuning in, make sure to sub in and like this video. I really appreciate it. Very humbly to announce the, you know, the new electric Daytona SRT by Dodge. This car is very good looking. It has a prestigious look. Dodge, y'all knocked it out of the park. Applause to y'all. As you can see, this is the front end of the car. It's carrying over the heritage of the 60s and 70s uh, Daytona Chargers uh, from back then. As you can see, uh, with the logo, the Forzonic logo, it has been carried over. The front opening of the grill reminds me of the 70s Dodge um, Challenger, <clears throat> Charger, or Daytona, whatever. It's really giving me that same uh, vibe, as you can see. It has a very modern and classic look, uh, which is mixed uh, very well together. And it has the recent look of the 2021, 2022 uh, years and so forth, you know. Um, just look at it. You can't tell me this thing don't look sick, man. You, you really can't. It don't get any better than that. I like the openings of the grill and all that. As you can see, this is the side profile. They got Brembo's on here. Don't have the Pacifics on the tires or the rims or anything like that. But disagree or agree, <clears throat> the curves look very relaxed, to be honest, compared to the recent uh, years where the, the, the curves, the body uh, lines look more aggressive. This looks very more chill and more settled out, as you can see. The wheels look very sick also. I love the wheels. It looked like you had a front lift up front too, if I'm not mistaken. But this car is is look is looking like a recent one, but it's very modern and relaxed to me. That's how I see it. As you can see, this is known as the R Wing, which was inspired by the Tall Wing back in 69 which was the first nascar to hit 200 miles per hour this will provide better aerodynamics and more downforce uh, on the car and it will be very functional i know it will play a big role a part of you know this car i like the tail lights of the car i always been a fan of the dodge tail lights been pretty cool it looks very same as 70s i said 70s it looked very 70s to me as you will see in a bit the front end looks pretty cool i wish they had the circle uh you know headlights but it wouldn't be no purpose of it but it would have been pretty cool to have the logo looked very sick sick i said six the logo looked very sick it looked like it got a like lightning bolt on the side of them and as you can see this is like how it functions more downforce, more aerodynamics uh, through the air. I guarantee you better efficiency on the battery. As you can see, this is the inside. I really hope the quality of it is like top notch, which I, which I highly know it will be, because Dodge, they be on top of it. It looks very like a cockpit in a way, but it reminds me of this car disagree or do not disagree let me know in the comment sections this car reminds me of that of course they're using uh the recent heritage which is this bad boy right here to this electric car and it's like it got souped up so good as you can see let me know so dodge don't have pacific on the specs yet but they claim that it's going to be faster than a hellcat which i would like to see on videos or in person sometime it's based on an 800 volt uh, electric architect um with the banshee uh powertrain and it also has a uh, multi-speed transmission a uh, temporary horsepower uh push button and a four zonic uh exhaust which will be sound like a hellcat or way better and also missing one key ingredient the thing is all-wheel drive ain't that's crazy compared to the other cars which is rear wheel drive which all the power is just going down on them two wheels just imagine going all on four 
As you can see, Dodge will be using the same setup, uh, the 800 volt architecture, uh, same as the Taycan, the e-tron, the Hyundai, and the Kia, as you see, which you have double. As you can see, this is a beautiful car, but we gonna miss this. We really is. Same with, you know, the Charger and the Challenger. We're going to miss them V8s uh, growling underneath. These cars going to go up in value, too. I feel like um, people are going to be wanting these, honestly. But we're going to see how everything going to play out. But this is the new electric car.